today i will explain uh, the digital pins of uh, node mcu uh, how many digital pins uh, you have got on node mcu and uh, the purpose of using digital pins and uh, what is analog pin and how many analog pins you have on uh, uh, node mcu development board uh, that i am going to explain today so the digital pins which you are uh, seeing in this diagram or else you can check here starting from d02 d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 after that you have got d5 d6 d7 and d8 you check here d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 and next d5 d6 d7 d8 total you have got nine uh, digital pins so they are called as gpio pins general purpose input output pins like most microcontroller digital pins on the node mcu can be configured as general purpose input output pins this means you can use them to read digital inputs from sensors or you can read them to sorry you can use them to read digital inputs from switches and with the help of this you can control the digital outputs like led uh, relay or other components so total you have got nine uh, digital pins d0 to uh, till how many you have got d0 to uh, d8 total nine digital pins now i'll explain why what is the use of analog pin and how many analog pins you have got see this is the analog pin you have got only one analog pin and it is marked as a0 so check here you have got one analog pin this one topmost a0 it is written as a0 so you have got one analog pin the node mcu is an open source uh, uh, development board uh, uh, based on esp8266 microcontroller while the esp8266 itself is a digital microcontroller it is a digital microcontroller the node mcu board extends its capabilities by providing few analog pin so not few it's only one analog pin and this analog input is used to read analog voltage from external sensors or it is used to read analog voltage from external device so uh, analog pin on the node mcu board are connected to the built in uh, this is the analog pin here i am showing you this analog a not uh, so this is connected to the built-in ADC of uh, ESP8266 microcontroller. This ADC is responsible for converting uh, analog uh, converting uh, analog voltage signal from zero volts to three point three volts, and that is the operating voltage of node MCU. So into corresponding digital values, the ESP8266 has ten bit ADC, and it means that it can represent the analog voltage uh, uh, as digital values from 0 to uh, 1023 that is 2 to the power of 10 is equal 10 minus 1 is equal to 1000 1023 so it can represent it can represent the analog voltage as digital value from 0 to 1023 so reading analog uh, analog uh, um, uh, sensors that is with the ADC functionality you can connect various analog sensor to the node MCU uh, so what are the analog sensor you can connect to the node MCU uh, they are uh, light sensors for example LDRs temperature sensors uh, temperature sensor for example uh, LM3 uh, LM35 or uh, uh, humidity and temperature sensor DH11 etc uh, you can connect a potentiometer uh, that is also analog sensor and many more by reading the analog value from these sensors through the analog pins, you can obtain the real world data and you can use it for various applications. But in software development for the node MCU, you can use appropriate functions and libraries to read the analog values from these pins, that is A0 pin. So you can use the function, I'll write here, analog read open bracket close bracket so this function analog read this function uh, you can use to read the analog values 
and work with the sensor data in your sketch. Sketch is a program in a Arduino. This is all about digital and analog pins of ESP8266. So thank you for watching this video.